Hello everybody, today I'm going to demonstrate you guys an evil twin access point attack. So first of all, this is the tool we use, it's called Fluxion, and it's from this uh, GitHub page. So how do we download it? We just copy it, we close this one, open the terminal, log in as root, git clone. And as you can see guys, I already have this file already installed on my um, home directory. So what you do is ls and you go cd and then you go fluxion which is the folder and what you do else is do bash flexion shi to install it as you see i already have installed as it says everywhere okay before so this uh options that we see here is very important because we will need to have a, a wireless root handshake from a specific uh, Wi-Fi and if we don't have it we cannot proceed with the first one so first of all if you watch my previous videos you will know how to capture the VPA VPA2 uh, handshakes but else if you don't know then uh, we, are, we, we will choose the second option and I will show you guys how to well, uh, choose this option and do the modifications. So, you can either take your VLAN 0 or VLAN 1 wireless adapter. And also, it's important uh, to have two wireless adapters. And if you want to know if your adapters are functional, you can write IV config. You will see you have one wireless adapter connected and for some reason my second one doesn't show but if I go up here it shows a diff as a different wireless adapter but for you guys uh, it will for sure show a second one. So anyways I will choose this one, the first one. And I will choose the channel so some wireless adapters support 2.4 gigahertz and some support 5 gigahertz like both of them but some of them just support one of the uh, gigahertz that which is 2.4 but i will uh, choose the 2.4 because my wireless adapter supports this one and as you guys can see we are searching for targets So after you know your target, you hit C, T, R, L, and C. And then uh, you will choose the targets. Let's make it this a little bit bigger. So I will choose this target, the number three, which is my router. And if you don't know uh, which wireless interface to choose for target tracking, you can uh, press skip. And as I already have this uh, tag configured, um, I will reset the tag because I already have uh, made the attack beforehand. Just to show you guys, I choose the number two. And this is the handshake retrieval. So there's three options. You monitor passively and then you or you use the error replay ng, the authentication method, or you use the tool mdk4 the authentication method to retrieve the handshake. So I'm gonna use Air Replay NG. And I'm gonna choose VLAN 0 for jamming and also getting the handshake. And uh, for this one, you can choose either Aircrack NG or Cowpatty uh, to make the verification for the hash, but I will take Aircrack NG. Um, and also, that's how much you want to verify the handshake, so it's up to you how many seconds it should verify, but I will do, of course, the shortest seconds, which is 30 seconds. So, if you have a fast system, you will choose this one, but uh, mostly it's recommended, as you see here, synchronously, so we will choose the second one. And now as you see, it will uh, try to find the handshake and 
they authenticate in the red corner here in this terminal and this one the handshake snooper is for snooping the traffic and and this is as you see we already actually have the handshake so it was pretty quick this is for monitoring so what we can do ah, as, as you can see it's already automatically makes something for you guys so I mean it already shows that you got the handshake so anyways if you guys are finished just close the window or press CTRLC now you guys will select another tag now we will try to create, create the captive portal a evil twin access point a fake access point for the victim to get um, well manipulated inside so we will choose number one and we will choose yes because we already targeted and got the handshake so it, the tool automatically detects it and we will choose a wireless interface for target tracking if you don't know which one to take then you can also skip it and I will reset the tag as I um, already made the tag as you guys know as I showed before and not re of course we saw a tag and I will choose number one for wireless jamming and I will choose the interface for the access point I will choose the number three it's for the access so that the victim gets access inside and these are the methods of the authentication to kick the victim of the original router and make uh, the victim connect to your fake wireless malicious access point so we'll choose number two and also this are the access, access point services which you can take to host the uh, access points i will take host apt as it is faster and more reliable and i will take the number two for Password verification method. And as a hash was found already in the handshake for the target access point, I will choose use hash found. Uh, and we will choose the correct and chief verifications. And we will create a SSL certificate. So this is very important because as the victim authenticates himself to the uh, router, uh, then he will get a captive portal login, which he needs to write the password. And if you make a secure certificate, uh, basically, the website will show as HTTPS and it will also show as a secure uh, a portal login. That the victim will enter so I will definitely do that and these options uh, emulated and disconnected means uh, the disconnected you if the if the victim accesses your access point uh, he, uh, you will not provide your internet or network internet connection in the access point but emulated means there will be internet connectivity for the ROG network as we see here or the access point so I will take the first one disconnected and these are the wireless templates which you can generate for specific routers so I have a 3BB router which is a Thai router in Thailand is pretty famous and it doesn't exist here so uh, I, I will try to just use a generate generic portal which have which has English on it or I can also use uh, the Thai language but anyways there will be also ways for you to create your own template for the specific uh, router but it, this is a bit more advanced and you will need to clone your uh, router gateway from your original router to uh, clone well to clone basically the the same login page but 
for this you will need uh, to understand website coding and other things but anyways so I'm gonna use the Thai one the Thai language one and you see here the host apt service starts the uh, access point and this DHCP server uh, service starts the IP addresses or the network which is uh, which are authenticated inside is which are the like the IP ranges which which are uh, pre-configured and this is the uh, authenticator as you see here this it authenticates the client and this it authenticates the router so the router doesn't have uh, the original root of the victim doesn't have X well the, it doesn't basically have uh, connectivity to the victim anymore and uh, the victim will get redirected to a fake AP access point and this is the DNS server which will um, show the websites or DNS request which the victim will make and this is the web service that it will basically show the HTTP HTTPS or web application request so anyways I will show you guys how what the victim does on the phone and then I will show how it looks on the laptop And as you guys can see here, after the victim authenticates and uh, gives his password in the input field, the, your password file is saved in this folder. Attacks, captive portal, medlock, and this is the folder which has the log file and all the passwords stored inside that the victim has entered. <laughs> 